आथा योगा अनुशासनम नमस्ते वेलकम टू अनरावल द थ्रेड a podcast for people who want to apply the yoga sutras to yoga practice and to life today available online at simple-yoga.org where you can also find dozens of videos for practice hundreds of articles videos for chanting and guided meditations all free resources to enrich your practice i am ruben vasquez your companion on this journey of exploration I am grateful for your comments and questions. It really makes my day to know that Unravel the Thread is making a difference in your practice and in your life. This podcast presents excerpts from the book Unravel the Thread, the complete guide for living the Yoga Sutras today. It also offers practices inspired by the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. If you love the podcast and want to support my work as an independent content creator, on the simple-yoga.org website, you can easily donate to keep the podcast going. Today, we will explore resistance. Yoga invites us to embark on the lifelong journey of self-discovery in many ways, including exploring the range of our awareness of all aspects of our lives. Approaching this exploration with regularity enables us to notice our baseline, our habitual state of being. Although there are some fluctuations in our habitual state, there is a general range that feels normal or familiar. Consistently returning to explore our range of awareness sharpens our sensitivity to different sensations, thoughts, and emotions and makes it easier to notice some of our tendencies. For example, we recently talked about our natural tendencies to move toward feeling better and to avoid pain. These two tendencies help us to feel comfortable and at ease. However, simply being alive means that we go through many experiences every day some of which contribute to our sense of balance and ease, while others create discomfort and unease. In some cases, discomfort and unease are symptoms of our resistance. We have mentioned before that one of the skills we cultivate in the practice of yoga is the ability to distinguish pain from tolerable discomfort. While tolerable discomfort orients us to transcending our current limitations, pain is a feedback that alerts us to the risk of danger or injury. Resistance tends to emerge at the boundaries between pain and tolerable discomfort. Resistance manifests as an unwillingness to move in a certain direction or to engage in a certain activity or way of thinking. Resistance can also manifest as opposition to what is happening. This resistance, unwillingness or opposition can occur on all levels, physical, mental and emotional. Today, we will systematically explore our resistance in order to increase our ability to notice it and to improve our ability to deal with it constructively. Do you ever feel an unwillingness or resistance to do something? Sometimes we tend to resist unexpected changes or we resist exploring options that are different from what we are used to. Or maybe we resist listening to feedback. Maybe we resist accepting that we have made a mistake. Perhaps we resist listening to people who have different opinions. Take a moment to think about what you are resisting. As usual, like in all our other explorations, let's remember that exploring what we resist is not an exercise in self-judgment. In a comfortable position, 
take stock of how you are feeling right now. Then take a moment and choose one thing you resist in your daily life. Pick something small and manageable. As you think about this event, activity or situation that creates a resistance in you, notice how this resistance manifests. Is it in the form of an inner commentary? Or is it a sensation somewhere in your body? Perhaps it is an emotion? What is the overall inner experience of the resistance? Do you feel a greater sense of clarity or spaciousness? Or do you feel constricted in some way? Notice the impact that one thought or memory can have on your inner experience. Before continuing this exploration of resistance, it is important to recognize that there are situations in which we perceive unfairness, abuse, or injustice. This type of resistance can be very useful because it requires us to confront important questions. This type of resistance can also prompt us to find intelligent ways to resist unfairness, abuse, or injustice. And perhaps more than resisting, we may use the ideas offered by Patanjali in Sutras 233 and 234 about Pratipaksha Bhavana, a way to change course, to inspire us to be uplifting agents of harmony in the world. Let's return to our inquiry. In a comfortable position, think again about something small that creates resistance in you. Stay curious about how the resistance manifests in your inner world. Is it a physical sensation? Or is it a string of words? Is it an image? Maybe it is a feeling. Perhaps it is some kind of light, color, or sound. Do you feel a general sense of calm or discomfort? Notice if this little idea causes you any sense of harm or injury. Notice also if there is a particular aspect of you that feels irritated by this thought. What can we do when we feel this resistance? Remember that we probably have many potential options to choose from and that there can be a wide range of expressions of resistance. Here is one simple option. Start by creating the feeling of resistance within yourself. Notice that you have the power to create resistance at will. Now take a long inhalation through your nose, gradually expanding your belly and then your chest. Hold the air in for a moment without forcing or struggling. And then exhale with a soft and long exhalation. Notice the effects. If this feels good, try a few more rounds of conscious long breaths, perhaps even feeling the resistance dissolve and flow out of you with minimal or no effort at all. 
If so, could this be a useful skill to practice? Does this simple technique take you from your thoughts to your senses and perhaps to your presence? Consider if it might be illuminating to think about the value of resistance in your life. Is our resistance a way of defending our sense of identity? Is it possible that our resistance is a sign that we are trying to hold on too tightly to a belief or self-concept? Or perhaps we are holding on to the illusion of being right? Are there forms of resistance that heighten our awareness? Are there forms of resistance that enable us to participate in our lives more consciously? What do you find when you take the time to reflect on these questions? And what happens when you pay attention to resistance in your daily life? Thank you very much for listening. I hope that your exploration this week is enjoyable and that you will join me next week to continue learning more simple and effective techniques. Remember, if you have questions when trying to apply these ideas, do not hesitate to contact me through my website simple-yoga.org. If Unravel the Thread is part of your day and you feel generous, I would appreciate it if you could support my work by subscribing, liking, and sharing. If it is possible for you, you may also support my work by offering a donation at simple-yoga.org. Thank you. Remember that you can have your own copy of Unravel the Thread. Until next time, Namaste.